Hello everyone, how's it hanging? Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to shoot wine bottle and the glass in a very professional way. We see generally people shoot things with very hard and narrow rim lighting. But I'm gonna show you how to shoot with wide and very soft rim light as you can see in this image. I'll create two lighting setups, the former with narrow and soft rim light and the latter with wide and more soft rim light. Here I'm gonna put a black acrylic sheet which is shining and here is my product. I'm gonna put the soft box a distance of half meter like this from the product and here is the camera setting. Let's take the first shot and here is the result. Now I'm putting the Savage Translum plastic sheet which will work as a diffuser between the product and the light and the distance between you can see the distance between the product and the light and then the second click and here is the result you can see there is no much more difference and now the magic will happen here I cut a black sad paper sheet larger than the bottle then I have put it to stand behind the bottle like this and the result now you can see the rim light is narrow and softer due to the diffuser between the product and the light now is the time for the second light and that's for the label i have made a homemade snoot with the help of black chat paper to create spotlight on the label let's see For the second setup, I use two lights combined together to make it a bigger light source. And I have made the diffuser larger and longer. Here you can see how is it. Now you can see the rim lighting is much wider and softer than the previous one. I used two black seats to cover the flare coming from the light behind the product. Like this. And here we go. Here is the result. Now it's time for the glass. I did same for the glass. I put the black sheet in the shape of the glass, which is bigger than the, the shape is bigger than the glass behind the glass. And here is the result. I took another shot for the glow in the wine and combined them in Photoshop. In the editing part, I am turning on the layers so you can observe the changes I have made in this editing. I have removed the background, decreased light. Desaturate everything except the cap. cleaned the surfaces I have removed 
the original reflection and created a symmetric reflection. made this reflection more soft I have added a red glow in the background gradating from bottom to top I have combined two shots and made it one for the level. It's time for the glass. I added the glow and masked everything out. And here is the final result.